What happens if you remove each part of a computer while that computer is running? Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Yeaster, and in this video, let's find out. Starting with the RAM, let's see what happens when we unclip one stick of RAM. We see that immediately the screen gets all wonky. This, this weird pattern starts, starts happening, and if we completely remove that stick, that pattern becomes more intense. Even at this point, the computer itself is actually not responsive. Using a mouse or a keyboard doesn't actually change the display at all. Now let's see what happens if we remove the second stick of RAM. We can see the pattern continues until it becomes overwhelmingly intense and takes over the entire screen. While this is pretty cool to look at, please don't try this at home. Everything I do in this video can be damaging to your components, so it's not worth the risk. Now at this point, you might be asking, what happens if I just replug the sticks of RAM back into the running motherboard? Will it just fix everything? Well, let's find out. With one stick returned back to the motherboard, as you can see, nothing really changes. The color on the pattern flickers a little differently, but other than that, no immediate fixes. Maybe there's a Hail Mary save if we put in a second stick of RAM while the computer is still running. But as we see, when we return both of the sticks of RAM in at this point, the pattern is, is still taking over the entire screen and the mouse and the keyboard still completely unresponsive. So this is what happens if you take out your RAM and even try to put it back in while it's running. So now that the RAM is reinstalled in this computer, how can we get it back to running as normal? So we actually have to do a full system reset. So there I am powering down the system, turning it back on. And upon a restart, we do see that the computer just comes back to life as normal. Nice. All right, up next, let's see what happens if you take out the CPU while the PC is running. I feel the need to say this again, but please don't try any of this at home. I'm using this with a lot of my older parts, so if they end up breaking, I'm okay with that. So to remove the CPU, the first thing we need to do is lift up the latch on the socket, since this is an AMD board. And as soon as we do that, we see the display cuts off while the CPU fan continues to spin. Now I've made sure the CPU is not super hot, and I just lift it up with my fingers. And as you can see, some of the system's still running, like the CPU fan, but no display. So if we put it back, Will this automatically fix it? Latching it back into place doesn't seem to change anything. Um, so let's see what happens if we just completely restart the system at this point. Let's grab that CPU fan, pop it back down to make sure it stays nice and cool. And let's shut it off, turn it back on. After a few moments, we see that the computer starts to spin to life again. However, when Windows begins to load, we do see that it runs into some issues. The CPU actually needs to do some recovery work at this point, and so we're presented with this blue screen. Um, and in my experience, I was able just to restart my computer again, and all of this cleaned itself up. So as you can see here, upon the second reboot, you see that Windows is beginning to load as normal, and eventually we are presented with the Windows login. Whew, that was close. Up next, let's see what happens if you remove a GPU while the system's running. And to do that, let's add a GPU to the system because prior to this, we were just using the integrated graphics that came in the CPU. So for here, I have an AMD RX 560, and let's transfer over the DVI cable and power this guy on. If you're enjoying the video, please feel free to like and subscribe. You can also follow me on TikTok, which I'll leave in the description below, where I do a lot of this type of tinkering. Now that the system is up and running with the GPU installed, let's see what happens if we take it out while it's still running. As we unlatch the GPU, as you might expect, the display immediately cuts off. However, interestingly, the GPU fan actually ramps up and, and stays alive. What do you think happens if we now return this GPU back into the motherboard? Do you think it'll just fix itself and go back to normal? Well, let's find out. If we return this to the still running system, we see that now is actually when the GPU fans decide to slow down and completely stop. Interesting. However, the system does not just go back to normal. Like most of the components here, returning them back to the computer requires a full system reset to go back to normal. And as you can see, if we turn off the system, power it back on and boot it back up, the GPU does spin back to life and eventually we can get back into Windows as normal. 
And just to make sure that the system is currently recognizing this graphics card as the same graphics card, if we load up Task Manager and look at the running components, we are able to see that it recognizes it as the RX 560, as expected. Last but certainly not least, let's see what happens if you remove the main storage device from a PC while it's running. In this case, we'll be removing this SATA SSD, which is currently where Windows is installed. There's two cables we need to unplug, the SATA and the SATA power. You can see immediately the, the wallpaper on the background actually goes completely black. However, other than that, the system continues to, to appear to look like it's running as normal. We can actually still move the mouse around and use the keyboard. However, it seems to be lagging a little bit until the point where now everything is black besides the task manager, which also is reading disk zero when the GPU is up. So safe to say the system's acting funky. However, we run into the blue screen of death and the computer automatically tries to restart. However, instead of going back to Windows because no Windows device is connected, we see that the computer automatically launches us into the motherboard's BIOS. From here, even if we try to reinstall the SATA SSD back into the system, we see that it's not fully recognized until we do a full system reset. Upon a full system reset, as you can see here, it actually does load back into Windows completely as normal. There wasn't any hiccups on my end, but I have done this a few times in the past where it did require me to completely repair Windows. So again, <laughs> please don't try this at home, but if you do, be very careful. Well, that's all I got for you today. So thank you for watching. Um, if you have any other questions around what happens if you remove something else from a computer or anything else tech related, feel free to drop it in the comments below and follow me on TikTok.